All right, we're back at it. Let's get rid of Windows 11, part four today. Desktop customization. We want to make our desktop on Linux Mint ours. That means wallpaper, uh, panels, icon placement, the whole bit really quick right here. Let's get started. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a good day. Happy 2025. So today, part four, we're going to customize the Linux Mint 22 desktop. Very simple. Um, everything's included. All you have to do is download a couple of things. What, three, three different things on this. Let's drop down to the desktop and we'll get at it don't want to keep you too long today all right so here we are on the plain jane stock from the factory disc desktop and what we want to do we want to change out the stock wallpaper which is it's really nice but we want to make it our own we can either grab a picture so we're going to right click the desktop change desktop background that's number one we can add one of the Linux Mint defaults, or we can go to the Wilma folder, or we can go to the Pictures folder, which I don't have anything on here yet as far as pictures. So we will grab, which one do I want to grab? I want to grab White Sands. It's a very high resolution, the 8K picture. I mean, that's a heck of a nice picture. So we got that. That's number one. Number two, we're going to move this bottom panel. Now this... In Windows is called the taskbar. In Linux Mint is called a panel. So we're going to right click on that guy and we're going to say move. And as you can see, it created three red bars. We're going to grab the top one and click on it. And just like that. All right. So now we're going to right click on this panel. We're going to customize this panel the way that way I like it. Now you can do it however you want to. This is what I like. I want to hit the panel edit mode and see it made a little green bar right there in the middle. I want to grab the clock and I've already, I've already changed the clock to show the date and everything. I want to put it right there. All right. So now we got that. All these icons next to the start menu. I want to get rid of them. I want to right click on that and it is called a grouped windows list. Grouped window list. I want to get rid of that. Okay, that's looking better. And I want to thank uh, the YouTuber Linux Ort. Uh, he, I'm using a lot of his steps on how to do this. Okay. So we got that. Now I want to add uh, a little bit more to this. So I'm going to right click this panel and I'm going to go to applets. Okay. So you may have to download this. I've already done this. The weather applet right here. Go to manage, click the weather applet and hit plus. Now it's going to add the weather for your area. So if I click that weather now, it's going to show Calhoun, Georgia. So that is looking good. I want to get out of panel edit mode. There we go. Now if I click that, it'll show the weather in my area. And I like that. Okay. So we're going to go over here to my start button. And what I did, I downloaded a new icon for my start button. So I'm going to right click, go to configure. And it says use a custom icon and label. I'm going to make sure that's checked. I'm going to go to what is it, 40 on the size and I'm going to click the icon. And you can put emojis, you can put whatever comes in Linux Mint for this. But I'm going to go to browse. And I've got a folder in my documents. And I want the Rambo Transparent Tux icon. Tux is the Linux icon. It's a little penguin. And I want the Rambo Transparent Tux. All 
All right. See, now, when I click that angry tugs, I get the start menu. That's what I want. Uh, also, I want to go... Did it under configure? Yeah, I want to use menu anima animations. I want to do that as well. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, I got that, 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 and that. Okay, I want to right-click on the panel, and I want to add a new panel. See, I got the three red bars again. I want to go to the bottom, and I want to put a panel. Okay, now that I have my new panel, I want to select it. I want to right-click and go to Panel Settings. And see how it's red now. I want to make it uh, 50 on the height. And on auto hide panel for the panel visibility, I want to intelligently hide the panel. So now if I have a window that's too big, it'll make it disappear. See that? Okay. So now I want to right click on that. I want to go to applets. And I want the grouped window list, just like I had on the top. I had a plus. And I have to go to panel edit mode. I want to grab them and bring them to the green bar. There, I want that's what I want. I'll get out of panel edit mode. And I'll get rid of the Firefox web browser. And that's what I want right there. I'll add another icon to it. I'll go to uh, the Thunderbird email. I want to take that, drag and drop, and put it right there. That's where it wants it. Okay. So I got the start menu. I got the weather. The panels are in the right place. The panel size. Now I want to make the panels disappear. So... What we're going to do, we're going to go up to the start menu and go down to the system settings, this third icon. We're going to go to extensions. And I've already downloaded this. I wanted the transparent panels extension. Now you have applets and you have extensions, the different ways you can customize. I mean, you have uh, dynamic wallpapers, uh, desktop cubes, the compiz effect, which is a cube that'll spin. Uh, you have all kind of things that you can do here, but the, I want the transparent panels. So if I go to manage, I can click it and then go plus. And my panels have disappeared. That is just cool. So that is how I want my desktop to be. I want to do one other thing. I want to right click and go down to customize. And I want uh, auto range, grid spacing. Okay, I want to click on the desktop settings. I want my computer, home, and trash icons to be there on my monitor and icon size I want to say large a lot of people just get rid of it and make it clean well I want these on there just so I can get to them it'll it'll mount my um, extra drives too when I click on them but uh, you see I got several drives in the machine that is how I want my desktop to be laid out. That looks good. Um, I'm, I'll probably go in and change the way my start menu looks a little bit. 
But um, other than that, that looks good. It's getting ready for uh, email setup and DaVinci Resolve in the next video. So there you have it. Desktop customization, that's how I do it. You can do it however you want to. If you want to leave it stock from the factory, you can. If you want to make it whatever you want. That's why I like Linux. I mean, it's, it's highly customizable. But uh, anyway, that's it for today. If I've helped you in at all, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified. And yeah, that's, have fun with it. That's, that's the biggest thing. Have fun with it. Um, hope y'all are doing well today. Hope you're having a happy new year. I hope 2025 is good for everybody. And that's it for today. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.